Hello everybody, hello Weebly users. This is Scott Gardner again with another Weebly tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add a newsletter slash mailing list function to your website. We're going to learn how to add an opt-in form and then we're going to learn how to add, how to send emails to your new mailing list. Right now, when you log in to your dashboard, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we will reach an area called Send Newsletters and Promotions. And this is a premium feature on Weebly. So you get two free emails to send and then you have to upgrade your plan to be able to send more. But we're going to try it out and we're going to see how it works. So we're going to click, you can either click try it free or you can click up here anywhere where it says new, send newsletters and promotions. So we'll just click. And the good thing about this is that there's many different ways that you can send. Um, we're just going to close this window here. There's many different ways that you can add forms. You can add a pop-up form. You can add a form that is anchored to the page in a certain location. So as you can see, down here we're on the free trial. We have two emails remaining. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our lead capture. All right, so the lead capture is basically your opt-in form. We're going to click here, and you can see that we get statistics on the forms that we have, what, what type of form it is. Is it a pop-up? Uh, is it an overlay? That sort of thing. Um, how many contacts we have from that particular form. But what we want to do is we want to create a form. So we're going to click here. And we are going to make this a smart bar, right? I'm going to go into um, each type of form as we go along. But the first one I'm going to create is a smart bar, okay? So this is a premium feature. So a smart bar basically is a form that anchors to the top of your website and it's always there. It can say whatever you want. It can be a join our list like this one. It can be, you know, if we scroll down, you can see the different uh, types of forms. So either basic where the form always shows or collapsed where you have to click subscribe now and then the form appears. Okay, so we're just going through the uh, different forms here. The welcome mat, which is also a premium feature, as you can see. Okay, it's a full screen call to action such as this. Very prominent. And then you have anchored, which is anchored to a place in your, um, on your page, either bottom corner or off to the side or whatever. But the only one that we have access to on the free is a pop-up. And we all know what pop-ups are. Um, as you are viewing a web page, it will pop up with the opt-in and a lot of people hate them. It's very interesting because a lot of people hate pop-ups, yet they convert quite well. They, they do work even though people hate them, people do opt in with them. So we're going to create a pop-up and we will choose just a basic pop-up. It's already selected for us, so we're going to continue. Okay, and so basically we can say what the offer is, all right? So we can choose the headline. So if, if we click in the box, we can change this headline. And I'm just going to type in something here. And we can also do the same thing here. We can fill out this form. So I'm just going to say... 
sign up now and receive a coupon for 20% off your next purchase. Something like that. And then it asks for first, last, and email address. Okay? So there's the form. Now if we click on this little plus sign, you can edit the thank you message. Okay? So we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to say thank you. Please check your email for your confirmation and your coupon code. Okay. So now we've set our form, we've set our thank you, so we're going to click. Okay, we're going to change the name of this form if we can, if it'll let us. I believe it will, yes. Uh, coupon, we're going to call it coupon pop-up form if it'll let us. I'm not sure if it's going to let us change it. Maybe it won't let us change it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the form settings. Um, sorry, that was my mistake. So if we can click, so I'm going to change that to pop up uh, free coupon form. Okay, I'm going to save that. So you have to click change. Um, to make changes to this. So I'm going to change the settings. And a little bit of a tip here. You should set your pop-up timer, your pop-up form to show after a little bit of time has gone by. So let's choose 30 seconds. I don't like it when, and a lot of people don't like it, when it immediately pops up and blocks the, uh, the screen. Okay, so we're going to limit how often the form displays because if someone's a, f a frequent visitor to your site, they don't want that form every time they visit. So we're going to limit it to once a week. And that box is going to set it so that if you've already, if someone has already subscribed, then the screen won't appear, the pop-up won't appear, okay? And we're going to also set it so that the, you can set a duration so that the pop-up only appears between certain dates. So if it's a limited time only kind of offer, you can set it to start and end at a certain date. We do want it to appear on desktop and mobile, so we're going to click Save. And we are going to publish our form. Okay. So we're going to click publish. And now we have published our form. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the link to my website. I'm going to actually right click. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And my Weebly website, oops, has... That's interesting. Okay, so the link that they provided to me did not work for the website. That's very interesting. Oh, okay, hang on a second. Let's, uh... so I realized that I had neglected to publish my site after making the most recent changes. So now the site is published and you can see what our Weebly website looks like now. And with any luck, after about another 20 seconds or so, the pop-up should appear and we will be able to opt in to the newsletter. Okay, so we're, we're just going to wait here for a moment and there it is. You can see it pops up. So I am going to sign up for this. I'm going to subscribe and we should get your thank you message and now we can cl close that window all right now i'm going to switch back to the tab okay and now we should have going to close our site 
and we should be able to check and see that we do in fact have a subscriber now okay so I'm gonna scroll down back to our newsletters and promotions we're gonna to go to try it free and we should see that we have one new contact so that is our that is the subscription that I just provided okay so you can see how the pop-up works and how it gathers the subscribers so in a in a later email I'm gonna show you how to set up an autoresponder so that you can automatically send messages to subscribers as they subscribe and then we're gonna take a look at how to check stats as well so check out those future videos but for now we now know how to add a pop-up form and gather subscribers on our website thanks very much guys feel free to ask any questions have a great day